So I got my gun on her. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. You did good. You were patient. I just show up a big nanny do. Here at Donation, we love being in the outdoors and we love chasing whitetail. But here at Donation, we have a heart for giving back and serving our communities. So y'all remember last week we were down in the Gulf fishing with our veterans on a deep sea fishing trip. That's right, when we cut it off, we had 110 pounds donated, which fed about 440 people. This week, we got the kids back in the tree stand and they know how to make that needle move. Welcome to this week's episode of Donation Outdoors. Hey, this week's all about the kids. It's something Brad and I look forward to every year get those kids out in the shooting houses, get them behind the rifles, and really make them understand what the ministry's all about, taking that donated deer meat and giving it back to those in need. So here we go. All right guys, we back over here at Stone Creek Preserve. Price still has not punched his tag on a buck, and he said today could be the day. Hopefully it happens, so y'all stay tuned. Got my main man Price here with me. I told Price, I said, hey, you want to go get after it? He said, yeah, let's go. I'm ready to bust a buck. I was like, what about a doe? And he said, well, we're going to play it by ear this evening, see what happens. He got a haircut. He's looking <laughs> fresh. I got him in a smile. Look at that, folks. All y'all girls out there, young ladies, y'all give him a holler. Good kid. All right? All right, you know the good kid? Right. All right, cool. <laughs> Good. And just like most days in Alabama, Price finally gets a doe out on the field about an hour before dark. showed out over on the right side of the field and you're watching her because she looked like a good size. So I got my gun on her and I asked him, I was like, are you recording? And he said, yes. So I shot at her and I hit her. I know I hit her and she bucked up. And then she ran over to our left and stood at a tree. So then I took another shot at her. So I shot at her twice because she never went down. We saw her last side of that pine tree back here. There's some blood right there. There she is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Big old doe. Big doe, yeah. That looks like the exit shot. Nice job, buddy. Big doe. Looks like that's the exit shot. Well, we got her. She ran down about 100 yards from the greenfield. She's gonna help a lot of needy families for Christmas, for the holidays. And thank you, Mr. Mike, for letting me come down here and shoot a big doe. Donation. Did you got it? <laughs> <laughs> Donation. <laughs> What's she gonna do first? <laughs> <laughs> One more time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm filming you. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> what? We never stop filming. Hey. <laughs> Say hey. <laughs> hey, PC. What up? 
What are we going to do today? Alright, we just got set in and we're at Stone Creek Preserve. Um, the wind's blowing good. Um, it rained last night, so we're hoping they're going to move. I'm going to try to shoot a big buck, but if not, we're just going to shoot a doe. So, donation. So Stephen and EC have this doe working across the greenfield, getting in shot range when out of nowhere this buck appears. <laughs> Steven and EC are getting close. That buck's finally in range, but we're losing camera light. It's getting a little grainy. You ready? Yeah. You ready? Eyes closed. Well clear. Really clear. Oh, it's smoking. What just happened? What? What just happened? You were patient. Oh, it took me forever to get on that deer. That was awesome. That's a good buck. That's a good buck. I tried to get him on him once and then they ran off and then they came back. I got him on him. And then he ran off again and then another doe comes and he comes back and it takes me forever to get on him but then I'm finally on it. I breathe. Pow! Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. You know where the deer go? Yeah. I see him. I see him. Do you? Yeah. Wait, yeah, I see horns. I see horns. Oh whoa, that is a big deer. Oh, look at that. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We may can count that. A mainframe eight point. We got some kickers. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh, that is a big deer. Okay. He didn't go nowhere. Nowhere. Okay, so me and my dad got in a shooting house today and we weren't seeing a lot of deer at first. Then a couple hours later, we saw this buck come out chasing some does. He was back, like he was farther away so we couldn't get a shot at him. So he came a little closer. I tried to get on him and then he runs off chasing some deer. So finally he comes back and I get a shot at him and I, my heart it was beating like really fast and I, I was breathing really hard and shaking 
And then I took a breath and I fired the gun and I shot him. I smoked him. And then my dad gave me some his binoculars and said, um, look, there's something on the field on the back. So I looked and I saw him and he was laying there and he didn't go nowhere. So, yep, that's the story. <laughs> I want to thank Mr. Mike Rayburn for letting us come down here and shoot this buck and donation. Hi, right, we're back at Ford Deposit at Triple N Ranch where our good buddy Joe Salter, he invited us back over and said, hey man, y'all need to come kill some does. So we brought Ella Claire, got Big P Mac, and we gonna get after him. Joe's gonna jump in the stand with Brett and Price and me and EC, we're gonna go jump in a big shooting house. We're gonna get in early, it's about what, 1.30? Nevertheless, it's always fun up here at Triple N Ranch. Can't thank Joe enough for having us up here and we're excited. Y'all ready? Yeah. Awesome. All right, let's get after him. You got your lucky sweatshirt on? Yep. You always kill with that sweatshirt, don't you? Yep. All right, guys, so we're over here with our friend Joe Salter doing a little dope patrol. So he's going to be our official spotter this afternoon. We got Price behind the rifle. We're trying to gather some meat. Joe said, y'all better come on over here. That's right. Better come get you some. We've we got overabundance of does. We need to cut down on that. That's music to our ears. We can see all the way around this. Plute 360, beautiful green field. They come right through that, right in front of you. Right down that hill, that big, big old boat with them. So Price is seeing a ton of action. He's seen some deer come by, he's even seen some turkey, but he has got to be patient to get that one good shot. Just looking at some smell. Peeking on that deer shoot in. The one that's looking up, the other one up behind that little skinny white looking tree. Her head is right behind that little bush. You see her? I'm glad we saw her again. Yeah. She is. There she is. Okay. Yes, sir. That's what we're looking for. Mm hmm. And she's fat, too, son. Feed a bunch of families. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, boy. It got pretty. Tense there for yeah, it got really they, intense. They didn't want to cooperate with us. They didn't want to be still. But she made a mistake of coming back. Right. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank y'all for what y'all do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On three, wait a second. On three. One, two, three. Perfect. You see where she, that's where you hit that, but mm -hmm. she's cornering a little bit. Yeah, he made a great shot. Oh, it made a wonderful shot. Mm -hmm. That's all. Let's go check out Steve-O and them. That's right. See what they got. got set we're in the shooting house when we got in um, there's already another doe 
back there. We're gonna wait on some more and hopefully we can shoot one. Donation. We've all been where EC is, if you've hunted long enough. Made that shot, thought it was a good shot, but when we reviewed the footage, it's a little far back. So we're just gonna have to wait and see. I'm excited, I smoked her. Donation. We still got some deer in the field, so I'm swapping places with her. And I'm gonna try to put the hammer down on one. Let's see if we can pull the old double off, what you think? Good shot. Hammered her, didn't it? Yeah, she did with a hand snitch. You see that? She was, she, was, she was dragging that girl. She was like a sailfish, <laughs> didn't she? That's awesome. Good job. So you smoke one? And you smoke one. That's her. right. Laying down the doze. You about to drag. Put your lamp on. Me? Yeah, you. Why me? <laughs> because you shot and missed one. You did what we call a booger. All right, go. Ooh, I can't. <laughs> Go, go, a little bit further, a little bit further. Oh, 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 right. The mud pile. Oh, yeah, that's a big old fat head for that too. Big healthy dough. Yes. All right, great afternoon up here at Fort Deposit and Triple N Outfitters. Big thanks to Joe Salter for letting us come up. Uh, Price busted a big old nanny. How far does she go? Not even 50 yards. 50 yards, stroked her. Then me and EC, we were able to get on a big mature doe. And man, she was digging taters, leaving the field, so we knew we had her. EC got on one and made a good shot on her, but we just couldn't find her. I think we'll find that deer tomorrow. That deer's got two holes in her. She's going down, we just didn't find her. We tracked blood for a long way, but we get back on her. But nevertheless, always a great time up here. We love coming up here. Uh, these does right here are gonna help feed a lot of needy families back in Elmore County. I just can't tell Joe thank you enough. We appreciate you. Thank you for watching Donation Outdoors. Hey everybody and welcome again this week to Donation Outdoors Hunting Grace segment. I just want to introduce you today to an idea. You know, we, we pursue in our lives a lot of different things. We go after status, we go after uh, money, we go after riches, we go after bass tournament trophies, we go after the biggest buck that walks, the loudest turkey that gobbles. We spend a lot of time and money pursuing those things in our lives, and there's nothing wrong with that, but we have to be careful. And I wanna challenge you along your identity journey to make sure that you don't allow the pursuit of those things to invade your life and to entrap you in pursuing those things that are only always gonna bring you a temporary satisfaction. God's word teaches us that we are to seek peace and to pursue righteousness. Several times in scripture from Psalms and Proverbs, 2 Timothy and Hebrews, God's word encourages us that we are to not only to seek peace, but we're to, to depart from evil. Listen to what it says in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 22. Now then it says, flee from youthful lust and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace with those who can call on the Lord from a pure heart. What a challenge from God's word. I wanna encourage you along your identity journey to make sure that what you're pursuing will bring you this type of enjoyment, this type of satisfaction along your identity journey. Can't wait to see where God has us next week. Hey, be sure to tune in next week again to Donation Outdoors, and we'll see you next week. 
Now it's time for this week's Ministry Minute. So this week the kids did their part in harvesting four deer. That was a total of about 125 pounds, which is going to feed almost 500 people. That's right. For a season total of 235 pounds, which feeds well over 900 people. So y'all come back next week as we continue to move that needle. Three, two. Welcome to this week's episode of Donation Outdoors. Yeah. You got a little long-winded. Yeah, I mean, right it's there just, in that middle. It's a lot to say. Do bullet points like you know we're teaching them about hunting. We're getting them involved in ministry. This is him coach me. You hear that? <laughs> you hear that? He's coaching. Sorry. Sorry. That sounded I'm, good though. I'm gonna try the next one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this week's all about the kids. We're getting the kids in the outdoors. Getting them the. All right. I'm gonna nail it this. Time. You get them to understand what the the ministry really means and giving food back to the. I got uh, that, was, that great. was great. You was doing really good. Mm. And getting them to understand what the ministry is really about, and that's to donating the food back to the food pantries. So let's get it out. Well, dang, you nailed oh, it. Oh, man. <laughs> so you got nothing left to say. Right. Okay. <laughs> hey, make sure you check out Donation Outdoors on social media. We have Facebook, Instagram. We got YouTube with some of that extra content. And we also have a website, donation.tv.